Hello, we are going to cover setting up push notifications in Cocos 2 dx We'll be using a SDK called Batch. It's completely free, it's really good. You go to batch.com, create a free account, and once you've created the account, just go to the dashboard and you'll get something similar to this. We've already got some apps. You want to create a new application. And you can either enter the store URL if it's already live and you're just creating an update and you're putting, not uh, you're putting push notifications in, or you can do it manually, which is what we're going to do. Select your platform, iOS for us. Just name it. This name is just what appears on the dashboard. So you can put whatever you want, really. I'm just going to put batch push test iOS. And then just make sure you put your store URL, which you can change after or input after once you know what it is. Click add this app. And now we're all done. We're just going to go back to the dashboard we are on batch push test and what we're going to do why isn't push yeah well, here we are we need you need to go to settings not analytics I was wondering why the tabs weren't correct and obviously here you just put your app ID once you know it so don't need to worry about that for now API keys will be dealing with these two mainly just this one but when you publish your app you just gotta make sure you change this one to this and then the push settings and these are certificates that will be generating soon it's gonna change the language to English this is just the default language we can have localized push notifications as well which is really really good and first of all we wanna download the SDK download iOS SDK now that's that download it just open up the documentation page and what we want to do is close this I'm going to go to push okay it's just because my window is like really really small it's not it's not appearing one second let me just go back to actually push iOS and this shows you how to set it up but before we even do this one you want to click push go to general and then you want to go to set up the SDK you first of all you want to create a SSL certificate to do that you open up keychain access you go to keychain access certificate assistant request a certificate from a certificate authority put in the email address that you're using on iTunes connect click saved to disk click continue to save it on the desktop now we're done with that so what, what you need to do now is go to iOS developer this is where you hand all your certificates or your provisioning profiles all that sort of stuff if you already have an existing app, then you can just update the app ID and re-download the, the provisioning profile, but we don't, so I'm just gonna create a new one. Go to app ID, click the plus button, and I'm just gonna name it. So I'm gonna put batch push test ID, I'm happy with that name. And for this, I'm gonna put sonar.learning. Actually, because I've already got an Xcode project set up, I already have a bundle identifier. Just make sure it's the same one. It's going to copy and paste. You want to go down here, click push notifications, click continue, click submit, click done. Open batch push test ID, click edit. And then go down here and we want to create certificate to use for this app ID so click the create certificate button click continue choose file and you just want to select the certificate signing request that we saved on our desktop click generate this shouldn't take too long to generate the file that we need Okay, so we can click download now. 
click done and we want to go back to app IDs go to batch push test ID again click edit and we are just going to configure the production SSL certificate so click create click choose and we want to select the certificate sign in request again click generate and once this is done we're going to download the certificate again but this will be for release and once they're done like this you open up each certificate and then you just locate the certificate that has been added and ours was sonar.learning.batch tutorial so it's easy to find out and you can check the timestamp as well yep that's the one so what we're going to do is now right click it click export actually do I have the right one no nope. I've selected glow breaker my bad click export I'm just gonna because this is dev I can put certificates dev so I can distinguish it when this pops up password and verify you don't want to put any password so just click OK if this pops up this is just a password for your your account on your Mac so put your Mac password in you want to do the same for the production one so export and I'm gonna call this release again you don't want to put a password in and if this pops up just put your Mac password in and now we're done with keychain access so we've done we've generated the P12 certificate the next step is to create provisioning profiles like I said if you already have provisioning profiles just update them and re-download them but we don't so I'm just gonna go to iOS app development click your I mean select your app ID select all the certificates click continue select all your devices click continue and then I'm just going to name this batch test push dev click generate now we can download this file click done I'm going to add another one but this time it's going to be for the app store click continue batch push test ID again select your certificate and for this I'm put batch push test release that's the spell push correctly click generate click download and now we can just click on these they're automatically added to Xcode now and the next part of this is to configure your application we're going to do that using the get started section so we go to getting started but before we even get onto this we're going to just upload our distribution profiles so choose the file from the desktop and this was release click save go to push settings it's now accepted the p12 certificate do the same for dev click save and just make sure it has accepted so that's accepted it now we want to go to get started in the documentation you want to go to integrating the SDK and now here it will run you through the process of integrating the SDK first of all you want to extract the batch iOS file embedded framework and the only file we actually want we don't want the bundle we only want the framework so if we go copy and paste that just showing finder you want to go to your project.ios underscore mac copy it into the ios folder drag and drop this into the ios folder in xcode you don't want to check copy items if needed you want to select create folder references and just select ios as the target click finish and now the next step is importing all the frameworks that we need we don't I would say ignore this image and just import the ones that are on this image and to do that you go to your project build phases link binary with files the first one is libsqlite3 let's have a quick scan just make sure it's not already there 
if it's not just click the plus icon so lib sq light you don't want 3.0 you want free then we want batch framework and that's already been added automatically so we can just leave that cool graphics dot framework actually has that already been added yep UI kit framework that have an error on it so I'm just gonna add it again UI kit framework and foundation dot framework that's already been added so we can just ignore that the next step is for you to go to build settings and you scroll down to linking go to other linker flags add another flag you want to do dash obj c you can just copy and paste it from here and now the next step is just to set up the SDK but what we want to do is go to the push section because they have a bit more code for setting up the SDK and that's what ex we want so uh, push general setting up the SDK iOS scroll all the way down you want to copy and paste this you want to go to your app controller.mm in your did finish launching with options just put that at the start and you'll give you some errors because batch hasn't been included to do that you just do hash import batch oh no need batch for slash batch dot h just copy and paste that the next file we wanted batch push dot h and now both of these errors have now disappeared your app your api key needs to be replaced with the key in api keys this one right here remember i said you want to replace the live key or the dev key with the live key just before you publish it this is where you're going to need to replace it so once you're happy with the game you've got this amazing game you want to publish it to the ios app store just copy and paste this and put it here instead of the dev key the next bit of code we need is this it's optional but it clears notifications on open which is a cool thing so let's copy and paste this because by default cocos doesn't have the function but if it does have the function just put the contents inside the already existing function and now i'm going to run it there is a chance that it may not work but we can fix that problem if it doesn't so i'm just running this application now so this isn't working so we got seven errors to go here it's moaning about mp movie player this happens an easy way to fix it go to build settings where it says other linker flags just get rid of the dash objc you want to go back to the getting started and there's some description here saying if it doesn't work just force the load for batch and the easy way to do that is copy and paste this so dash force underscore load add a new line oh, remove that I'm just going to add it at the end then you want to drag and drop the batch framework you want to edit that and at the end just before the end quotation mark put forward slash batch and now we're ready to run this so click run okay so as you can see it succeeded this is my iPad I'll just let the application open and as you can see it says would you like to send push notifications I'm gonna click OK on my iPad and in Xcode it pumps out this push token this is basically the ID of your device and this is great for actually this is needed for testing because obviously when you're publishing the game or you've published the game on the app store you just send out a wide push notification and it goes to all the devices this way you can just test it on a particular device while in development so just make sure you copy and paste that go to settings and go to campaigns click create campaign a recur one time push campaign I'm happy with that name of campaign test campaign just leave the rest of the options as they are regional targeting target or users 
click next push sent on need to provide a valid date so just provide any date for it for next we're just testing and we're going to say epic push notification we want to click send test copy and paste the push notification into here I'm just going to actually close down my application and click send to development app because we don't have the distribution key in there so click send to development app and as you can see oh, you can't see there we go epic push notification has appeared on our device so if we just swipe down there we go it says epic push notification if we click it it opens up our application let's just close this down and if I scroll down no notifications and the reason there's no notifications anymore is because if we go to appcontrol.mm we added this line right here so it's that simple to implement push notifications if you have any questions or have any problems feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or even better because the entire community can help and our entire team can help if you ask the question on our education platform just go to sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php don't worry there'll be a link in the description and as usual thank you for watching there'll be an android tutorial very soon